Hey, traders. Welcome to episode 461 of the show. The second show of the day. What? Yeah, right, Justin? Three doses of me today? Shoot, man. I don't know, dude. It's weird. It was weird being up earlier and streaming, but uh, hey, it's a nice change up. But here we are at the scheduled programming time, whatever, and uh, we're sitting at 5300. We're over 5300. We're up uh, 1.45% today. We are above the 62% retrace. That's wonderful. But what we got ahead of us is, you know, that heart line of our upslope channel. And we have the 786 at 5364. So us breaking above that uh, 618, I mean, you've got a few, a couple wicks over here, but that's not really strong resistance. So I don't know why we wouldn't hit 53, 64, especially how we're just holding on to a positive momentum, still holding on to it. And you're not overbought either on the four hour. So this does have the makings of, uh, con you know, continuing its run up today, tomorrow, if it wanted to. But uh, what we're looking for and all we care about right now is uh, the 886, which is the final target, the 5420. Is that a joint? Uh, price target. That's it. I mean, and, and we said how awesome and legendary it would be if on 420, the date, April 20th, we would hit 5420. We could take our profit, and then if we wanted, we could take a short position up there because this uh, new harmonic is the bearish bat. And at the 88.6% retrace, one would be taking that low risk, high reward opportunity which would be the short of course all right and we're getting closer and closer i guess what we can start doing ah man i don't want to do anything yet until we hit that 886 but we do need to preemptively get ready for it so let me see what i can do here all right Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Let's just uh, let's just go ahead and try it, okay? From your swing low to your swing high, your hypothetical swing high. We don't know if this is as high as we're gonna get. We could go higher, and it could get invalidated, of course. But what we need to do is at least get ready, man. Get ready for it. What a duck, man. Quack. Hey, uh, Davis, thanks for the uh, one diamond, dude. Mr. Pissed myself. Thanks for the one ice cream. What? Excuse me. Perfect. Okay. So first target of this bat. Boom. 382. Second target. I think you're starting to get it. Yes. The 618. And I think I think if it was the end of Bitcoin's run which is uh, still to be determined. We don't know. I think we get the 886. We're going to get a better idea. Uh, that might be it. That might be an exit, uh, especially the, the reason why. I mean, <sighs> so we're in an upsloping structure, improper consolidation, right? So you would think uh, if we were to make the lower high in this range than the previous high, it'd be over. We'd, we'd sell off. We'd hit the second target. We'd crap around for a little bit. Then we'd dump again. And then we'd start running down to between the 4200 and 4600 area. That's where your uh, golden zone is from that December 15th low to the April 10th high. I know that sounds like a lot right now, but uh, there you go. And, of course, it could go much lower. All right. There you go, man. That's That's what's happening. Uh, the 886 is your last target on the bullish cipher, and that's where a close in reverse. We could ourselves close and reverse our position into a short and then start taking profit at the new fib nodes, right? Fantastic. Let's we'll see if it could be so poetic like it's been so many times before. Okay? I told Red X if this did play out, I would print it out frame it and put it on my wall in my house certainly would do that chart art see what happens i don't know why i haven't printed out this one or this one dude i mean this is beautiful i need to print this out frame it dude house harmonic right house kangs
Okay, but you get what I'm saying, right? Let's, let's look at it like this. All I, there you go, man. It's the same type of stuff that's going on. The same type of stuff. Look, say, hey, close your mind for a second. Or open your mind for a second, okay? But put on, like, halfway blindfolds. Say this is November 7th. Say this is December 15th. You get what I'm saying? High to low. We've got to make common retrace levels. What does this look like? Can someone in, in chat that's been watching this stream tell me what this looks like right now? Anybody? Would love to know what your thoughts are on what's happening right now. Dude, holy crap. You know what? Screw this. Let's just do it. Let's just uh, put them side by side. Oh my god, man. Ray, you're such a nerd, man. Yeah, I guess I'm a nerd, man. But I don't care. I'm a hybrid, dude. Okay, these jerseys back here say I'm a hybrid. I can be a nerd and be athletic at the same time. All right. Well, the same chart. Okay, here we go. Let's do this thing, man. Hey, crabs, man. Thanks for the diamond. Dude, are you a bullish or bearish crab on d -Lob, dude? Which one are you? All right. Dude, crabs. Thanks for the three diamonds, dude. Holy crap. All right, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Oh my god. He's right. Holy crap. It's beautiful, man. Beautiful. I can't even right now. All right? I might be odd. We're comparing the November 7th high to December 15th low structure with a double harmonic. And then over on the left, we have just flipped the chart over from the... The 4200 level to the April 10th high, which is a low here, and they look almost identical. Look, look, the big move down, look, the big move down, then you retrace, you retrace, then you start creating your harmonic, and then right at the top, you started, you know, that was the beginning of the new one, right? And then you retrace 78.6% of the way, but the fact is, this was a 62% retrace here. This is a 50% retrace, and this is what gives us reason to believe we would be hitting the 886, not the 786, because it's a different type of harmonic. Wow. No, Golden Cross is not always followed by Boron. You get fake outs all the time. It's a lagging indicator. Don't put too much faith in the Golden Cross. Dude. Dude, uh, crabs, man, you didn't answer. What kind of crab are you? Are you bullish or bearish? <laughs> Yo, Jody says Bitcoin chart looks like the bottom of a dot com bubble, bro. No, said. Uh, <laughs> does it, man? Thanks, Mr. XRP. Piss myself for the one diamond on D Live. Holy crap, dude. D Live's bringing it down, man. Infinite Paradox. Thanks for a $2 contribution. Appreciate that. Mr. Elixir, hello. Eh, theory, uh, that thing's just floating around Twitter, right? Someone got the Bulkowski book and just posted it. Uh, I don't know, man. Dude, they, they also take it out of context where there are reasons why uh, we don't continue running. And that with that Twitter post, and I saw someone post it in Patreon. Like, dude, if it was the weekly, man, it would take us eight, over eight weeks to backtest and retrace and to go nowhere. It, do, do most people have the patience? In crypto to wait eight plus weeks? No. So you ready to wait to see if we back test and can hold? You know back test, right? <laughs> let's uh let's get out of this crazy world that we're in right now. Let me they look so perfect. Okay, there you go. That's real life. This is real life too. They're just inverse of each other. Get it out of here. Perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let's go to Bitstamp. Because that example of Bulkowski, man. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I know why. Dude, Bulkowski's example of the bump and run, the Momo shift, the downsliding trend line broken. You know, in that example, it sold off. It dumped all the way down to that trend line again. To 36, it would have been 3600, his uh, textbook example. There was no back test here at all. So uh, if you get the back test, y'all prepared to not lose your freaking minds if we go to 3,500? Huh? Yeah. Dude. Bulkowski also talks about the bump and run. There's a reason why we don't keep running to the upside. Overwhelming resistance above us. Lack of demand. 
bare stuff, okay? So, yeah, sure, we could keep running. I, I think 5,800 is a very real possibility, okay? But maybe, just maybe, we sell off first, and then we run. Okay? And, and look, it's great, because we know if we surpass that 886 retrace, we surpass 100% retrace, we know we're probably going to 5,800. But we got that pattern set up. Harmonics are quite reliable. Okay, people are going to close and reverse their positions at i think at 5420 dude are you kidding me joint. probes man seriously bros man i feel like it's pewdiepie in here dude thanks for the ninja guinea contribution on dlive man dlive running circles around youtube right now wow thanks dude jesus jobs much love mm. Mm -mm. so uh i don't know man measure move of a triangle is hit we're uh, still trying to break above that <laughs> 618. XRP pissed myself. Thanks for the one diamond, dude. On D-Live. Kangs. Oh, my God, man. Yeah, it is really nice. Showing a lot of strength still, right? It is still the upsloping channel. The upsloping flag, if you will. Ooh, that's really pretty right there. Dude, it looks incredible on Bitstamp. It looks really good on... Uh, the total market cap looks like an insanely nice ascending triangle, but here, upsloping flag, and we know what can happen, right? You are not setting yourself up for se for success in the future so much with this kind of price action. Impulse up, upsloping consolidation. Hey, the bulls could be in control, and I know the, the shorts are up too. Short positions are up. They're starting to stack on those shorts, maybe in preparation for the 886, but... Uh, we run up, we could hit uh, 56.73. We could extend on inside this flag for as long as we need to, but eventually I think what's gonna happen is from that low down here to where that that high is, you will make a common retrace between 4,200 and 4,600, but it's just, uh, there's no telling. Uh, there's no telling when that's uh, gonna happen, when we're gonna break this up slipping support that we're developing right now. Hey, bad row, thanks for the follow. I didn't, oh dude, I definitely know the dot com bubble was. I just, you're saying you think that we were at the, it looks like we're at the bottom? Well, normally in stock market, those kind of bottoms, those crashes, those huge signature Vs pop up. I don't think we, we didn't really get that. We just relied on divergence and higher lows to help us find this bottom. Uh, you know, back in December, whatever. But we, we didn't really care about the second bottom. We cared more so about that, or sorry, the first bottom. The second bottom was, very nice. 33, 38. How about Bitcoin, US dollar, weekly, RSI? Uh, plenty of room to run to the upside. 58 probes. You hear that probes, man? We're at 58 on the weekly RSI, man. And again, you, you zoom out, you see there is literally nothing keeping us down. There's the, there's the 50 week moving average soon approaching at 55.49. You're probably going to touch that soon, but we know there's no horizontal line resistance on the weekly until really this little zone between 57.94 and 58.75. Right, that's when the new resistance begins. So, yeah, dude, just started. Nice green candle, nice breakout, whatever. Uh, just no no data. All right, positive momentum is still building. Okay, so. Every week, you're making higher levels of positive momentum, just uh, meaning that we could continue running up. All right, the bulls are in control until we start tapering off. Okay, then that's maybe when we start tapering off on the weekly is when we would start getting that real retrace. Okay, in the golden zone down here, like low to high, you sell off, and you go again. Heck, man, we could even come down and back test these levels as support. People get uh, real good entry, and then we run again. All right, a lot of things to think about. What is this? Oh, you talking about uh, DLOVs getting an update or something? I probe, man. Let's do this thing. Leroy Jenkins. Holy crap. Bitcoin talk. Look at this beautiful, beautiful upsloping flag. Even if you're not looking at uh, harmonics, which, hey, we have that weapon. Dude, think about everything you learn in technical analysis. It, Assuming it's not redundant as a, a new weapon. You are a warrior. You are part of the, the Night King's army. Okay. 
or you are the Night King, whatever, you're going to break those walls, dude, those cell walls, and you will take over Westeros, man. Whew. Anyway. Beautiful. Upsloping consolidation. Demand will dry up eventually. And, and you better be making higher highs than your previous highs. You have to. If you don't do it, if you hit that 886 and you start selling off, man, dude, it might... You break this 5,067 area, you're going down to those areas. Okay. Oh, man, it's weird. It's like different time frame fibs. I don't care. I'm not worried about it. Okay, if you enjoyed the uh, comparative analysis to the the absolute insanity of amazingness down here, right, and how it all played out in the end, hit that like button, that bell, that sub, seriously. All right. This is so nice, though. Uh, like, color coding your targets for these harmonics. It's so cool, dude. Oh, dude, Bradley Abel, man. Thanks for the follow on D-Lab, dude. Welcome, man. Welcome to the... Uh, Best kept secret on the web, I guess, or something. It could be. It could also not be. We'll just never know. <sighs> okay, so since we went to overtime on that Bitcoin analysis and stuff, maybe it'd be good to look at some chat before I get too far behind and it's we're screwed, right? So that was for you, Mr. Elixir. Thanks again for the $2 super chat. Yeah, dude, Golden Cross, look, man, the last Golden Cross we had, there was a fake out, and the fake out lasted like over five months before we Golden Crossed again, all right? So don't get too euphoric on a Golden Cross. We're not even there yet, man. Come on, dude. Not even there yet. Dude, we got a 20 crossover. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. But even, look, even if the sell-off starts, man, on the way down, before we... Our candles, if they did, if they barely crossed over these two moving averages, it's so slow that you're going to get a golden cross either way, even when you start falling below. If you just started dumping, dude. All right. And this is what we're looking for. This is the this is what we think. It's like, okay, you think about the bearish bat. We sell off. We get one, two targets. We hit uh, you know, the 382. We hit the 618. I don't know why this one's not showing up. It's so weird. Why is that not showing up, dude? That's so buggy. Okay, so see the first target, second target, and maybe a little beyond it, and you hit the bottom of the trend line again, and then like we bounce to the upside hardcore, uh, and then we could get uh, some bearish divergence on the daily. And by the time we get that much divergence, we'll be at like the 5,800 area, and it'd be perfect short opportunity up there. Hey, Mr. Vilcub, man. Spitz Mob. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, or something. Anyway, but you uh, you get what I'm saying. I don't know why that's not sh second target's not showing up. Stupid. Dude, friggin' love Terrapin Station. It's so good. Gaming crypto loves ducks. Be careful. Can we look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, uh, Bradley? Yeah, dude. Yeah. What one was that again? Crap. I've looked at it. I have it charted. What was the Bitcoin dominance uh, ticker again, chat? Somebody quick. Please. Okay. I'm just waiting for the ticker, and then I'll gladly go to it right now, Bradley, okay? We'll do it before we even look at Ethereum and Ripple. What? Yeah, dude, it's still Bitcoin talk. Bitcoin's a topic of discussion today. So, we're in the disbelief stage. I don't know, man. I mean, maybe, dude. I think we can become range bound for an extended amount of time. Am I bullish? I mean, see, it's not even fair to ask me that. It's not even about me being bullish down here, but we sure as heck called this, right? So up here, I mean, say we sell off at the 886. Does it mean I'm bearish? I mean, I, I guess. I mean, dude, we're just looking for the trades and stuff. The longer term things, eh, they're not as, like, reliable. So is is the shorter term stuff. Okay. Let them disbelieve, man. Dude, come on. Somebody. What is it? BC. Okay. BTC dot D. I got you, Bradley. Here we go, man. We're going. Three, two, one. 
And maybe hey, it's Yoruba, dude. He made it, man. He made it, man. Welcome, dude. Ooh. It's gonna daily. What's happening? Hey, K Dan, thanks for the follow on D Live. Welcome, y'all. Holy crap. So, uh, hey, we were looking at some sort of bat, a bearish bat here. I mean, it's all lined up, but now you're for, you've got this huge descending triangle, I think. It looks more like a descending triangle than anything. All right. Gary C., thanks for the follow, dude. Welcome, man. All right, so uh, look, what does this mean? What is the psychology of a descending triangle? You have distribution going on the top, meaning every time you make a high, you make a lower high. All right, that means there's less people in this asset, which I don't know how traditional technical analysis is going to work on this since it's Bitcoin dominance. I, I don't know. Okay. So uh, distribution going on and you've got one or two people, one or two institutions, whatever, holding this asset up with buy wall, a buy wall. And eventually every time we hit it, there's too many buy orders here. So you run up again, lower highs, people, less people own this than before. Then you eventually get to a point where you get to the end near the apex of the triangle and we sell off one more time and all those orders get filled and there's no more demand at that price. There's only demand down at lower prices and that's normally when we get the huge dump. But it is not to say it is not completely impossible that we may or may not break to the upside. And that would make that can make plenty of sense because if we broke to the upside and we hit a measure move. But normally these are bearish reversal patterns. Impulse up, you create this pattern, and then you dump. Okay. But it's all about probabilities and anything's possible. Nothing's given on these markets, all right? Nothing's given. So measure move of the descending triangle from a breakout of the upside would put you near the entry of the bearish bat. Wow, how nuts would that be? And it'd be the top of the top trend line of what? There you go, man. The downsloping structure. That's pretty lit, man. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Now, if it takes a turn for, you know, what we think it could do. And what does that really even mean, Bradley, right? Does that mean that uh, if we dump and make a measure move to the downside of this descending triangle, this inherently bearish pattern? Does that mean that uh, altcoins are going to go insane and run to the upside? It, they would have to, right? They would have to, tons of money would have to be pouring into altcoins in order for this Bitcoin dominance to go from, what, 54.55 down to 44.50, right? I would, I would expect something like that, okay? So. Anyway. Mm, thanks for the lemons, dude. Wow, holy crap. Crypto is no longer a secret. You know, DLive's a secret, Davis, man. That's what I was talking about. Not not crypto. People know about crypto, and they don't even care a lot. So, okay, Bradley, man. This was for that. Thanks again for that contribution earlier in the day stream, man. That was awesome. All right, very grateful. Anyway, takes a minute. Hey, you know what? Since we're looking at Bitcoin Donald, why don't we just look at the total market cap too? This takes forever, I don't know, to change time scales. That's just so much uh, data. All right, total, total connect. Ooh, yeah, man. Well, it doesn't look good on the floor. Look at the daily though, the wick. It's beautiful, man, beautiful. Okay, the golden cross is coming on the entire crypto market cap. Wow, 172 billion. Hey, this is how we look at it. We don't go to coin market cap and look at the market cap. We just go to T O T A L. Real time changes. You don't have to hit F5 like a scrub peasant. All right. Robbie Nelson, I don't know, man. I don't like this market for investing, dude. There's an entire market that's over 24 trillion dollars of a market cap it's called the new york stock new york stock exchange okay investing in this this is not there's not too much i mean like yeah you can sit and hold on something but dude i don't want to tell you man these things don't really have underlying fundamental value i mean hey i get it bitcoin sure yeah try to get in at the bottom but uh 
Hey, we don't know the bottom's in. All right, I wish I could tell you. Ashan Lihi Zahir, welcome. Thanks for joining, dude. Oh, yeah. So, investing, man, take a look at the stock market, dude, okay? Near all-time highs, so it might be probably better. I mean, just look at the individual assets, man. I don't know, Activision Blizzard filled my $44 entry limit by yesterday and yesterday morning, and it's doing pretty well so far. I know we closed over 45 today, finally. That's great. So, I don't know, man. I would look at, uh, in, for investing, I would look at companies that uh, you actually make like hundreds of millions of dollars per quarter. Okay. Right ahead of mine, oh my God. Is that a joint? Oh, it feels so good. Hey, my God. Thanks, bro. Dude, thank you, Bradley, man. For the 4200. Hey, it's coming, man. Two days are you excited bradley man also y'all give me some feedback on my screen okay and what i'm talking about is like i turned my fps down from 60 to 30 which i can already tell like the tip jar suffers tremendously but uh I'm doing everything I can to try to figure out what the issue is with the screen melting. Okay, no one can help me. No one can figure it out. I've, I've turned in my logs and my streams to OBS's analytics, and it just says, like, high audio bitrate. That could be affecting performance. I turned it down. Still melting, like, today. So now I've turned it down to 30 FPS to see if that is anything. I don't even know, man. <laughs> yeah, Zachary. Put that one in the book, all right? Good God. V chain or hot octo man? Yeah, we can look at those. We looked at uh, I think both of those today. Yeah, hot was kind of disappointing. You know, it had that really nice breakout, but is well we got an hour twenty four minutes left till the daily close. I was gonna see if we could get confirmation of staying outside the down some trend line we broke. Finally. Good god. It took forever. Okay, anyway, so uh man this is ever so critical i dude i don't there's probably stupid amounts of sell orders up here you got to have an extreme amount of demand to break above this area seriously dude and it's just like there's just so much resistance you know you got the candle close here at 183 or 189 188 191 all right and then you got the candle high closes like uh 211 and then 216 and then 231 there's so much chop here there's a ton of it and then right after that you're starting to approach more 221 229 right 234 there's so much resistance up here and there's you know and so that's why range thing about something like a range bound play going on right where okay you've got very little support until you start getting down until like 136 billion so we could like sell off hit those areas and bounce off of them and then run up again and go sideways right or we could just dump through these and come down to the bottom of the range which would be scary like terrible but hey man we'd be looking for opportunities down there like we look for opportunities everywhere right so uh yeah man tons of resistance and we're, man, we're creating ourselves some support below us in case that retrace happens. That'll be pretty strong support to hold before bouncing maybe again. All right, but hey, Golden Cross is coming, dude, on total. Wow. Wow. Okay, beautiful, dude. Ethereum Connect. Dude, break in, upslope and resistance. Very nice. Hey, high to low, we're hitting the 618, the golden retrace, 176.02. And we're rejecting it twice now. But again, an hour and 20 minutes left, so it's going to be interesting to see. There's no bearish divergence. You're not overbought. I mean, this thing looks like it, if Bitcoin wanted to run up again, this thing could easily run up to hit the 786 if it wanted to, all right? But uh, we know, hey, sometimes when the bulls are in control, you don't get... That's why we have one target that the 382, unlike Casey Stubbs, who doesn't. Casey Stubbs is all about, yeah, we're swinging for the fences. We're going for the 100% retrace. We don't get it. We don't care. It's over. We're losing the trade completely. Dang, dude. That's not, I mean, I don't get that. I think it's cool to layer out. Because guess what, dude? 
We'd have made more profit than KC Stubbs here, wouldn't we? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. But, uh, here we go. Look left. Someone's talking about, is this a head and shoulders? It could be, man. If you can't break this, dude, you got a huge head and shoulders developing, which would be great because it's like, then we get our second and third targets of the short, right? The bearish crab, the rising wedge, the critical resistance points. Would love to see a stall here so then we could dump down toward those next targets. Okay. And if we went higher, man, that'd make things sketchy. I don't know how this thing stays in this area with Bitcoin going to 5420. All right. Sub GXRP. Thanks for the party parrot. Wow. Jason, B just made eight dollars. Congratulate. Hey, you know what? Feeling good today, man. All right. So for again, let's make an announcement. Jay Simpy just made eight dollars. Congratulations on your sick gains, man. Congratulations, man. Okay. That was for you. That confetti. We'll get Rumba to clean it up later. Sorry, just gonna read some chat now, okay? And we're gonna go to Ripple soon, man. Soon. Oh, uh, Michael Bulmer, there is a uh, I, I, there was a spike today in the short positions on Bitcoin. So, man, how great would it be if we hit fifty four twenty and then we dumped? Man, that'd be perfect. I mean, that's exactly how the harmonics setting up anyway. Hey, Davis, thanks for the ice cream, dude. Uh, was it, uh... <laughs> Ambiance. Thanks for the one diamond, dude. Kangs. Uh, we can just pull up, I guess, the Bitcoin shorts chart real quick. So you can see it's really nothing that special. It's not crazy, but, uh, whatever. Nice pop. 13.74% today, right? You like broke it down, sloping resistance. Look, man, this is the way it was, right? You had this historical uptrend and you finally, for real, broke out of it. You really did, man. But like, you know, from the high point, the one and two and three, you broke it. But it looks like there's almost some sort of other resistance. Okay, so... uh yeah, man, this is, this is what you're seeing right now. Hey, look, the divergence played out. So pumping, but we're not really making higher highs than any kind of major high. So make of that what you will. It looks almost just like a range, doesn't it? There you go, dude. You're range bound on the Bitcoin shorts chart. Uh, currently hitting a resistance back from January of 2019. That's it. So we can go higher or whatever, but uh, the shorts are starting to pile on a little bit, but in the grand scheme of things, way, way down, dude. Look, you hit a support, horizontal line support back from August 2018. Okay, and huge spike once you hit it. Leaving YouTube must be difficult. <laughs> D-Live crew. That's it, dude. Anyway, yeah, so that's just looking at shorts. All right, the one you've all been waiting for, the Kang itself. XRP to USD. Finally, man, finally. Well, you just could probably be setting up for higher prices. I mean, impulse up and you immediately start selling off a little bit, not too much, bullishly engulfed, last four hour candle. And maybe hopefully we can just set up with a flag of some sort or a pin it and then break to the upside and hit that second target. Man, we hit that second target, dude. How legendary would it be? It'd be so awesome. But you got to be real happy about this one. I mean, extremely happy about this. It just melted. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, dude, I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. There, I'm not doing anything wrong at all on my stream settings. Nothing, man. I'm doing nothing wrong. I've changed nothing. I've been doing this forever. And no one cares. Like, no one, like, I, I can't get it fixed. I can't. Oh, check the logs. Check the logs. Yeah, the logs aren't telling me anything, dude. Okay. Uh, 
I'm going to have to like probably get him an alternative account and go, go live on that YouTube channel while he's here and watch the stream for the melting and then like continue just evaluating, going live on live, live on live over and over and over. Dave, thanks for the ice creams, dude. Thanks, Krabs, for the ice creams. Jeez. F. Yeah. You thought Scream Melt was a feature? Yeah, dude. It's uh, included in the acid package of Patreon. Kappa. What's up, Julia? Jonathan K. Oh, I should do TA on the cannabis stocks for 420? Yeah, man. They look a little bit like crypto after the great FOMO. <laughs> Some of them do, anyway. Dude, y'all should see the radar. What I'm about to be dealing with, you can see the ominous clouds in my base mat overlay. Let's just pull this up so you can see. Jeez. The world will de-live crabs. Well, thanks for being here on the ground floor with me, I guess. And PewDiePie. PewDiePie connect. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness, man. That looks scary. Ooh, explore my area. Sounds kind of sexual. Y'all, look at this. All right. Get it out of here. So I'm in Birmingham. All right. Whatever. Cat's out of the bag. I've been... Oh, my NOAA is going off again right now. Can I hear that? Probably not. Dude. I can't hear what the warning is, <clears throat> but anyway, look what's coming my way. I'm Birmingham. This is huge quasi linear storm. Oh, they could uh, have a lot of, I mean, that, that's that, uh, that bow right there, extremely strong straight line winds. Okay. I don't know if this, the layers, let's look at winds. <clears throat> Wind speed right here should be really what? Maybe it's gusts. Another layer. That's weird, man. Clouds. Well, uh, that uh, that type of bow is a lot of gusts. Okay, gusty winds. I don't care what this radar is saying. That's w this is this is ghetto, man. Super ghetto. Give me a break. I don't know, man. Oh, here we go, man. It's starting to get gnarly. These are the watches and warnings. But yeah, I don't get it. I don't know why the winds aren't picking up. That's really kind of weird, man. All right. Dude. I'm not under a uh, tornado. Uh, I am under a tornado watch. I don't know why it's not showing up. Tornado watch. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, that weather's kind of important. You know, a tornado touched down like four miles away from me like three or four days ago. So just everyone calm down that I'm checking my weather. Anyway. But uh, yeah, dude. Hail, wind, tons of wind and gusts. And potential tornadoes and hail. All right. And flash flooding. All associated with the storm that is on its way. It is coming. Ned Stark. Whatever, dude. Even dust my PC. Dude, my PC is like brand new, dude. I'm pulling this up right now. You're going to see it. You tell me if it has anything to do with heat. It can't have anything to do with heat. Why? Because here it is, dude. Here is my load. You tell me if there's something abnormal about what we're seeing here. Okay. Nothing. RAM's good. GPU's good. CPU is grand. 9% load. Give me a break, man. It's probably something to do with the AMD Threadripper. Oh, actually, I don't know, man, because it was working fine before an update, like a, two weeks ago. Oh, yeah, so you tell me if something's crazy here. Fireworks, bam. Thanks for the 100 likes, y'all. And if you're enjoying this live stream, hit the like button, the bell, the sub, okay? You could maybe possibly see me get blown away by a tornado tonight. All right, let's go. Let's go. 
My attempts are good. Fibonacci the Storm Bradley. How, how does one do that? Oh. I guess we can. XRP Panic, man. Thanks for the diamond, dude. Is it like widespread panic? I, I love widespread. F6, F6. Thanks for the diamond, dude. On DLive. Dude, y'all are awesome. Y'all are killing it, man. Y'all are killing it. No, dude, we have uh, this thing called basements, Sharuba, that are... Majority of the basement is underground. Bearish divergence on the wind speed there. Should, yeah, right, dude. That was a scrubby tool. It's not even accurate. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's the weather channel, and it's they don't have very good tools. It's like going to Coin Market Cap to try to literally analyze the the weather. Uh, try to analyze crypto with TA. That's what you do when you go to weather.com. All right. Relative Apex. Thanks for follow, dude. On D Live. Welcome, man. Kings. Is it true that in Birmingham they love the Govna? Boo hoo hoo. Yes, it is true. Sir Digby. Chicken Caesar. Wow. Claudia, thanks for the ice creams. Oh my god. And what was that before? Dude, F6. Is that another diamond? What? Yeah, it is. Thanks for the other diamond, dude. Apollo, thanks for the lemons, dude. Holy crap. It's getting lit over there, dude. So, bestie. Thank you, Julia. How's XRP look for the bigger daily symmetrical triangle? Well, it's uh, hitting the resistance point and it can't do things beyond it, okay? Dude, F66. F6, F6. Thanks again for another diamond. Holy crap. Rain, rain in diamonds and lemons and ice creams and sometimes ninja guineas over there. Jeez. Thanks, dude. All right, so uh, how's XRP look with, the, uh, with that triangle, a huge amount of price contraction? You're nearing the apex. And I was saying how legendary, listen to me, just like we did this a couple times on Bitcoin and the Gartley when it was not, when everyone had quit crypto, they said we're going to zero, everyone was giving up except some of us. We said how legendary would it be if this bullish Gartley on Bitcoin was what ushered in the major retrace that we expect between 4200 4400 and 5230 man and it literally was we became kings and legends all right so why couldn't it happen again a harmonic that ushers in the beginning you have a, a, a bullish harmonic pattern that is beginning at the end of a crazy amount of price contraction not a bearish pattern it is a bullish one i, I would love to see it. how legendary would it be if this is what began it all the higher lows than your previous or the, the higher highs than your previous highs, finally, for the first time in a long time. You've always only been making lower highs. and But hey, man, we'll take a short-term victory on the shorter-term high being hi higher than the previous high. All right. Dude, thanks for the ice cream, F6. F6, man. Kings. That's right, dudes. That for everyone. Okay, man. Oh, my God. Thanks for the 37 people tuned in on DLive. I think it's like the more <laughs> diamonds and lemons. Dude, I don't know, man. It's so weird. Why are the two Bitcoin harmonics percentage different? Because one's a bat. They're just different harmonics. There's a ton of different harmonics, okay? Like, there's... I sent a little cheat sheet because we're doing some new concept art for the, uh, for the merchandise coming out. And I can't wait. It's like a widespread panic shirt. Like a concert shirt of you, or a Grateful Dead concert shirt. You ever seen those? That's like some of our merch is going to look like. It's so cool. Uh... I can't really show it right now, but uh, let me see here if I can find the cheat sheet that I was using. Dang. Channel, that looks pretty lit, man. Not sure if I want to go. What the? Not sure if I want to go with that. I might want to go with, with the harmonic. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. What is this? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, dude. So there's like, uh, you want to know, Mr. 404 man? Look here, listen. You see this? It's a great cheat sheet. There's all kinds. The kinds that aren't even in the Ultimate Harmonic that I want to learn, okay, on this cheat sheet. Uh, I don't know, fxgroundworks.com, the 4x groundwork, right? So uh, there's like the bullish alt bat. Oh, the alt right, man. Oh my god, the alt left. The bearish alt A, B, C, D. You know, you've got uh, the bullish deep crab, 
Not to be confused with the bullish crab. <laughs> okay, so all kinds of patterns that all have different criteria that make them what they are. Okay. That's why. Thanks for the two bits or something. Anyway, Michael, that was that was for you for the whole... Oh, dang, dude. Thanks for the uh, five ice creams craps, man. Gangs. No one talks about charts and things. What does that mean, Davis, man? Where is the bat sign? Look no further, man. The bat sign, man. Is it like this? Dude, it looks like a freaking ice cream, man. Okay. There's your bat sign for uh, XRP, dude. Does that work? Anyone? Don't let me know. I think I did it wrong. I think it's supposed to be angled the other way. I think this might be Bitcoin Cash. We might be screwed here. Hey, this is Bitcoin Cash. Oh, God. We might be ruined at this point. Uh, let me know, uh, fake, fake and masters, if that works for you, okay? Anyway. Sorry, I'm just trying to get through chat, alright? Respect the tornado analysis. Oh! That's what I forgot to talk about. Okay, I got off on this tangent because I couldn't remember what I was talking about. Okay, so, like, weather's always been a big thing to me. My uncle's, like, an anchorman at the Weather Channel. He was, like, the godfather of local meteorology here. <clears throat> so, the, the new godfather here, his name's James Spann. And he has something called respect the polygons. So like if you're in a tornado, like there's no longer like tornado warnings for entire counties. It's only portions of the counties if you're inside of what we call, what they call the polygon. Okay. And so uh, that's like his saying is like respect the polygon. And so that's kind of like where I, I knocked off respect the TA from because it's like, man, you got to respect those polygons. You got to respect the TA, right? Because you get so much respect on the heart lines and the fibs and supports, resistances, just respect, right? So... We must take heed and respect the TA like we respect the polygons. Okay. I did turn off game... There, yeah, I turned off all the game mode stuff. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't even matter. Like, I think one of them wasn't even on. But I turned off the other two or three. And nope, doesn't work. Doesn't matter. Whoa. What happened? So is Ashry, dude. TA gear? Oh, yeah, dude. It's gonna be lit. Oh, dude, oh my god, are you kidding me? Jesus Chimes. For the Ninja Guinea. Thanks so much for that one Ninja Guinea press. Two Ninja Guinea so far, man. Killing it, dude. Are you gonna overtake Raw Bar? Will you overtake Raw Bar, man? We'll see all time. He's got you by, what is it, six. 6.21 Ninja Guineas. That's what he's at right now. Holy crap. It's a bleep plot. Dude, I don't... I can't. Jesse Thompson says the shark pattern. What about the shark pattern, dude? Just randomly shark pattern? Alright, let me get rid of this. Because it's Bitcoin Cash anyway, so it's not even right. Did I do okay? I'm an art man. Not as good as my Sauron drawing, Kappa. Oh, we're going to look at hot, dude. I guess we just go to it now. Whatever. Okay, V-Chain doing things. Wait, sorry. XRP doing things. Wow. Okay, we kind of were waiting an hour left on the daily. All right, so, hey, okay, you're rejecting lower prices for now. Let's see. Okay, you're still hold. Okay, you're holding. This is what we were worried about. Like earlier, you were, hey, you're bouncing on the 20-day moving average, trying to get above that 50, but you're below it right now. You're in the middle of the 20 and the 50. You got to get above the 50, man. You have to. But it's nice to see that uh, we have broken out and we're kind of back testing now, right? Wow. Rob Bar is far in the lead. If you're using gaming RAM, turn the free. It's not gaming RAM, it's just standard RAM that's RGB, man. Is my audio too low? Let me know. Thanks. SMT mode? I have no idea what that even is. Epic Eddie, okay. 
Has anyone donated an Ninjet? Yes. Uh, Probes and Rabar have both tipped Ninjets. One each. Hey, Stef Stefan uh, Hag or Hog. Thanks, man. Welcome. Yeah, well, it's, uh, well, it's really the Falling Wedge, isn't it? Uh, Skyward Man, not a descending triangle by any means. That's a beautiful, beautiful textbook Falling Wedge pattern. All right? One, two, three, four, five. Wonderful pattern. My SSD is almost on full storage. What, what is my upload speed? Oh, it's like 24. It shouldn't be any issue. Nothing changed, right? I've been doing this on 1080p, uh, 60 FPS since I got the last PC, right? And now it's like, since an update happened, everything's ruined. Everything's ruined, man. Audio's good? Okay. We already looked at Totally Plot. We already looked. You're good, Skyward, man. What I consider to be the last major swing high for Bitcoin? Would that be mid-September? High? Oh, I think the the last one's going to be 20K, but there's like five or six, and that's the problem. People are like, when's the bull run confirmed? There, You can't confirm until you break 20K, man. You can't really confirm it. Because each swing high is going to be a, that final boss. If you break this one, you got to run to the next boss. you got to fight that one. Until you have a real breakaway to all-time highs, you don't really know. But that's okay. That's why we have upsloping channels. You know, We have trends that we're in for the midterm. And we're never going to be uh, you know, complacent. We keep monitoring each swing high that we get to. But, you, but the thing is, what we have not done. We have not consistently been breaking uh overhead resistances right we, we've done one time and it really was nothing dude it was nothing we it was a the our previous major swing low is what the lowest low we had seen in over a year right we need to make a major swing low that is higher than the previous one and then we need to start breaking critical resistance points looking left and there's not many until 5800 and guess what you got to break above all that chop and you got to hold above it and stay above it for a, a decent amount of time. <clears throat> Talking like weeks, probably. Yeah, throat's like drying out. My God, man. Crap, I got out of this coffee. Hey, thanks for the. Are you kidding me, Deus, man? What? Dude, thanks for the uh, 10 ice creams, dude. I'm going to get diabetes. Diabetes, man. Not even once. I don't know, man. It sucks when they fell out of the channel, like which is fine. You can still have false breakouts. Just get back in it. Just get back in it. Should be fine. But yeah, you could probably adjust now one and two. But I, I don't really know. We don't. Let's, let's, who cares? We're trying to play this pattern. We're trying to play the pattern, and the trend is kind of like showing us, hey, man, we're in an uptrend, right? The trend is your friend. Is ADA looking a bit like hot? Not really, crabs, man. Uh, Hot's since inception has been making higher highs, higher lows. I mean, ADA has been, it's crashed like the rest, but then it turned around and now it's uh, pulling back because it hits the perfect levels, dude. Okay, so one of V-Chain, right? So targets, expected high to low. You're looking for 34 so first target, primary target, secondary target is 37. And if you're lucky, if you luck out, you hit the measured move, which is uh, at 44 sats. Way up there, above the 886, dude. Good luck on that one. Digital diabetes, man. Oh my god, CWG, don't even get me started. It sounds very scary, man. All right, I don't want my virtual arms and or my extremities to fall off, okay? Which I guess that'd be like my keyboard and my mouse would be rotting or something. That's right, Johnny, man. Don't let it happen, dude. All right, VeChain. Hey, 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 hey. It was discussed last night. The type of price action we were getting uh, pointed to higher prices. We got it. We got it, man. And But we're only bouncing off and rejecting the living crap out of the 200 moving hours on the 4-hour. <sighs> Terrible, dude. Terrible. <sighs> but we're back testing. The area, the, the trend line that was once a resistance is now, it looks to be support. Let's see if we can hold above that and then rally again. All right. Great news, man. Hey, that's... You gotta love just standard price action, man. Downsloping consolidation after an impulse to the upside is most of the time really good. 
it looks like a controlled amount of selling slightly lower lows just slightly slightly lower highs popped we got him in pocket protectors pocket protectors are right, you one of the things that go like here uh yeah you get a pocket protector if you want I would not uh, object to it okay not at all What? It's a lot. Oh, my bad, dude. Sorry. It's probably a little quiet, but, but whatever, man. It's like so ridiculous. <clears throat> Who won't listen, Robert Kirk, man? What is this? Stress test the GPU, CPU, check RAM settings and BIOS, and if none, it's the power supply? How could it be the power supply, dude? I have 1300 watt power supply. What? Oh, yeah. Hold on a sec. Yeah. 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 I'll, uh. Let me see. Let me, uh, do this real quick. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, PC stuff. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Respect the stress test. Yeah, dude. There should be no stress here, but uh, it's just crazy, dude. The guinea. Fire up the guinea with the ninja guinea dude. A pros has been doing that. He been doing that, man. All right. <sighs> Dang, dude. It's so humid. Like the humidity is so insane, man. Before these storms, it just gets nuts here. Did my did it break, man? I bet my chat broke, dude. On my uh. so insane dude do restream there's some see there's something wrong with restream too like all these stupid apps that i use to provide you content they're all like doing things and they're all really stupid okay oh my god man thanks for the uh 287 people on youtube sorry about that yeah we're just uh I don't know, man. Taking it kind of chilled, man. Looking at VChain on four hour, right? It broke to the upside. It back tested the ascending triangle. It was once resistance as support, and since then we bounced, right? Almost looks like some sort of bull pull, bull flag measure move was hit up here. Crazy, man. And that's just the beginning. Well, I would expect in time that VChain to Bitcoin would try to hit uh, just the common retrace between the 167 and 207 sat range. But that requires a ton of patience, man. That could take months. Okay. Clusters might might be going bad. What's a cluster, man? Sin City. Man. Can you show Jesset how to set up the equidistant channel? How you have it set up, Fib channel. Yep. Sure thing, man. All right. It's called the, uh, the Fib channel. Thanks for the. Uh, the six dollars and nine cents of Litecoin, dude. Much love. All right. So first off, let's talk about just getting it to begin with, right here. All the way down. Fib channel. Okay. You plot it. You double click. And then you go and you manipulate your Fib channel. Take out all the Fibs or unselect them and make sure you have these coordinates or these numbers: zero, point two five, point five, point seven five. In one and deselect everything else have those five and nothing else 
0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1, Kangs. That's it. All right. There you go, man. I'm not getting any issues on my recordings. Y'all can check out all my static videos. None of them ever have issues with the glitches. It's so stupid. Rob Tolin, thanks for the follow on DLive. Did I have stars on the stream? We're talking about stars, dude. No, it has nothing to do with the movement, man. None of this, see, dude, everything was fine up until a patch. A patch that happened on OBS. Okay, that's it. See, my guy's saying he thinks it's OBS related. He thinks it's OBS related. Argotha, Asgard, welcome. You made it to D-Love. Thank you for making the trek all the way from Asgard. It's far away. It's distant planet. It's Thor's home planet, but hey, thanks for making it. Okay. I think it's about time to start putting on a little bit of the, uh... Did you hear that, man? Oh my goodness, man. Huh? Lightning, dude? Oh my god. Yeah, dude. It's, we're getting there, man. We're getting there. There's that tornado watch being extended right now. Wow. But, uh, my guy says it's none of those things about what Adam Warren said about the, uh, stress test. Alright, uh... You said stress test the GPU, CPU, check the RAM settings and BIOS of none. It's the PCU. It's a simple process of elimination. And he says it's none of those things. We can try running down the RAM on the safest, safest settings, but the screen melting is almost definitely OBS related. The crashing may be non-OBS, but I still doubt it. So there you go, man. Uh, did I see the Vitalik rat video? No, but uh, dude, that guy. Wow. Twig and thatch, like our support's resistance. That's like his arms and his legs, okay, dude? And his neck. Then roll back. Okay, let's see. I'm asking him if he can check the live chat right now so he can collaborate with y'all a little bit. Okay, so I just said that. A codec problem. Yeah, whatever that is. Oh, yeah. Tim driving, wind picking up, springtime thunderstorms. Oh, dude, it's the helicity. It's much more powerful than just a standard everyday storm. This is a huge system coming. A lot of YouTubers are having the same problem. Is this true, Cannon Man? They're all melting? But I've seen streamers that don't have the melting issues, right? So the storm wasn't bad, just a ton of rain in Mississippi. Well, I guess it depends where you were, right? Looking on the bright side. What? What you talking about, dude? Yeah, I guess so, Adam. Man, needs an update to accept the patch. What you talking about? What? What needs an update? Needs a, you didn't even give me a vague pronoun right there since that he did. It's that 5G connect. Okay, anyway, VChain, whatever. Let's go uh, back to Bitcoin and stare at it. Okay. We try to figure out all these effed up problems. I'll look. We can stress test the CPU, GPU, but I bet it's fine. All right. He's going to come in here and check or anyway attempt. Alright man, so just still sitting at 52.74. We were at 5300 when the stream started, now we're $25 lower. Alright. We got about uh, 46 minutes left on this daily time scale, this four hour time scale. And all the others. Alright. So we're just kind of hanging out. I don't know, this is my second time being live, okay? So I've I've gone above and beyond today, I guess. Maybe not, maybe I suck. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Re, re on the Bitcoin. My screen melting, Zachary. Exactly, it's terrible. It's freaking terrible. Oh, I love that man. 
Dude. Can't wait. Cannot wait for that one. I'm gonna use that one tonight, Shaylin. I got a new ba base mat overlay coming. All right. Dude, all the OBS encoding, nothing matters. Nothing works, okay? It's like we've tried, like, everything in OBS, like, for the encoding. Like, we, I even let it do the wizard configuration where it set it up for me. And then we, and now I'm at 30 FPS and there's no change. No, I turned off SLI because it's not optimized properly and it did nothing. It fixed nothing. All right. Thanks, Elixir. Have we spoken on BNB today? Technically, yes, we have. Uh, it hit the 1272. I think last night. And then it exceeded it today. <laughs> hey, Kev, Kev Lavev, thanks for the follow on DLive. Welcome, dude. Thank you, dude. So, uh, looking good over on DLive, man. Sorry. You're beautiful, man. You're going to be closing with strength, too. Lots of it. It's, uh, we should see 22, 23 at some point in the near future. I mean, just because that's the next resistance. Where you are right now, there's nothing. Nothing there. No resistance at all. So I think 22, 23 would hit. Why? Look left. It's a candle high close back from January 12, 2018. All right. So we hit that. Maybe we sell off or maybe we blast through. And the 1414 will be the next target, the $23 range. Okay. What? Dude, I did not hide that. I tried showing that. Dude, I did not mean to delete that, Gary. I don't know why. It says show or hide, and I hit show, and then it hit it. You can retype it, dude. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I just wanted to, like, show it before someone else hit it. Okay. And I accidentally hit it. Resay it, man. Maybe a bad graphics card. There's another NOA warning going off right now. Holy crap, man. Dude, it's like trippy. It's like that robot voice. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch. Oh my god, man. Anyway, you know the targets now. Big green candle, bullish engulfing candle. And we're gangs. Alright, all-time highs is where the wick... $25 and 20 cents. Holy crap. <sighs> Jersey in the house. What's up, big coin Z? Welcome, dude. Uh, this is not Jimmy Herring, I don't think, is it? It might be. Is that what Jimmy Herring was doing before widespread? No way, dude. This is uh, Jerry Garcia. All right. Everyone's away for Easter. Beep, burp. So if the bots are in charge, I love that. I love when the bots are in charge because that means meh, 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 they're going to go to the 886 because they respect the TA better than all of us. All right. All right, Ryan. Be careful, man. Here in Gulf Shores, bad storms coming too. Please, ADA will be nice. Will it be nice, man? If you do the stress test on GPU and CPU denied on an extensive period and it dies via artifacts or CPU has issues, you will know. If it doesn't, you know they were they are fine. Driver issues will show here too. So then you can hit BIOS and check RAM and work down. If it's software, a trial of Wirecast will confirm. Wirecast? I thought we were going wireless, dude. Yeah, it's Jerry. Grab ankles, drive to Blueprint on 3rd for latest weather updates. Let's go, dude. Let's go. That's so cool, man. Met a, uh, a fellow, like, it was just like a local person here. It's very rare. Very rare to us meet, like, people like, hey, I'm in Birmingham, too. Like, what? That's cool, man. You're in Crayola, Ryan? I've seen a sign for that, the exit, but I've never gone there. Is that near Citronella? Huh? Okay, whatever, dude. Whatever, man. This is a uh, Malcolm. I have not heard of Malcolm, but have you heard of Andalusia? That's where my my daddy's from. All right, Andalusia, Alabama. All right, man. 
don't know why that's there. Cardano Connect. Yep, continuing to sell. because Why, dude? Why not? Dude, you've got no pattern development, no bullish divergence. You've got nothing. And this is what I've been trying to explain to people. There's nothing here. Nothing here yet. Not yet, dude. Okay. So you're continuing to dump. You've fallen on the 4-hour below the 20, the 200, and the 50 moving average. Below all three right now. Negative momentum's picking up. But you're so oversold. You're more oversold that you've been since March of this year. Okay. It was terrible. Hey, this was back right before the Kangage all happened, dude. It was beautiful. So, yeah, dude, selling off to be expected. Why would we sell off? Oh, dude, just it so happens you hit the measure move of the uh, inverse head and shoulders and you hit the 62% retrace on the dot before dumping. Hey, man, this is what we thought Bitcoin could do, maybe, but it didn't. Bitcoin just continuing to upslope, man. You shot your last deer in Andalusia? Awesome, dude. That's, all, that's really cool, dude. Not much out there. Hey, but uh, the Andy Bulldogs, are, they got a new uh, stadium, dude. That's where my dad played high school football before he got a scholarship to play at Sanford. And if it wasn't for Sanford football, he'd be still probably living in dirt. So he played his way out of poverty, pretty much. Your uncle was from Andalusia. Now your cousin lives in Bay Minette. Very cool, man. All right. Hey, it's a small world, evidently, with Andalusia. Everyone's from there. Okay. Robin Hood. <clears throat> oh, yeah, dude. Is that true? Not Robin Hood? Yeah, Adam Warren. Pretty much true. I mean, there's there's a few others with, you know, some, better, some good arguments. But, yeah, Binance is a great, a really good argument. Okay. <sighs> Dang, dude. Big bucks there. Oh, yeah, right. I, maybe, dude. All right. I don't know, I've been live for like an hour and 18 minutes. Thanks for the 276 people here. Can we get a like spike going, man? If you're enjoying this broadcast with the huge storm approaching my neck of the woods. Hit the like button, that bell us up. Let's go, dude. Let's go. XRP, dude. Mark Jason, man. We've looked at uh, XRP twice today. All right. So this thing sucks, man. It's awful. This should only be visible now on the daily. So your common retrace zone. This is why the selling continues. We didn't even hit a common retrace zone. We, we've been talking about the area from the swing low to swing high. Or really, it's the major swing low to swing high. We have not hit a 382 yet. 1520. Between 1257 and 1520, that is... Our golden retrace and that's where we could expect to see a reversal in price action but each fib node we will be looking for different types of coinciding variables on so pattern development and divergence you're looking for those at each key fib node if there's none there don't worry about it just let it keep falling keep let it keep selling to the traders market oh yeah common it's different exchange uh -oh. we'll go for it dude get all those one penny common hoods all in so in a pawn cowboy. Yeah, dude, four dollars, man. We hit like four dollars and change on Binance, and then January to now we've gained over three hundred. I think we're probably going on four hundred percent gains. That's crazy. Yeah, make sure I take one. Get it on waves, dude. <clears throat> Dang, dude. Well, I don't know, man. Thanks for uh everyone watching and stuff, but uh, I think we should do is get out of here. All right. Thanks for uh, the 42, Bradley, man. Really appreciate that a lot. Mr. Elixir, thanks for the uh, super chat. Infinite Paradox, thanks for the super chat. And... Oh, yeah, and Sharuba, thanks for the uh, $6 of Litecoin. Appreciate y'all. All right, because y'all the contributions y'all made to the stream, I am able to come back every time, every day, to provide you with content and market analysis. Okay, coin requests, all that stuff. All right, so thanks. 
So what I'll do is I'll be back tonight. I'll be back tonight at 11 Eastern, 11 p.m. Eastern. So until next time, respect the T.A.
that boy is good. Adios, turd nugget.